guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to prepare for Team of the Season. Because for those of you who don't know, Team of the Season Most Consistent is just around the corner. The deadline for the voting for the Team of the Season Most Consistent is on the 24th of April, which I believe when you're watching this video will be tomorrow. I'm recording it on a Saturday, and it should be out on a Sunday. So, you do need to stop selling your players now, because there's going to be a massive market crash. Much bigger than there is right now with the Team of the Knockout Sage cards. And it's going to last for about a month and a half with all of the different team of the seasons being out. And then after that, FIFA just kind of dies a bit and the players drop down loads. So for those of you who haven't sold your cards yet, now is definitely the time to do so. And it's the perfect time because mid kind of rated goal players who are around 80 to 84, 85 rated are going for a huge amount of coins right now. You guys can see on screen some of the cards I am selling on at the moment. I've got 82, 80, 81, 83 rated cards that normally would go for under a thousand coins. And you can sell them for about three or four K right now. 80 rated players, lots of them go for about 2,000 coins. 83s you can sell for nearly 5k in some cases. And also you want to be selling any 84s and 85s, so they go for about 5 or 6k as well. And also you do want to cheat your club for any informs that you've got as well, because discard price informs that would have been about 10k normally if they've got a really bad card are actually going for about 16 or 17k as they are needed for SBCs. So again, it's the perfect time to sell cards like that. And also check your club for any non-rare cards that may be needed for score challenges, as well as any silvers as well. I found a load of cards in my club that went for about 5 or 6k needed for the head of SC SBC at the moment in the marquee matchups. And I was just selling loads and loads of informs and getting a lot of coins from selling them. And it's the perfect time if you do have a lot of cheap informers in your club to sell them right now. Uh, sell all of your silver players, just go through your club looking for silver players. You may have some that are needed in league score builder challenges that are very expensive, so always keep an eye there. And also you want to go through your consumables and you want to sell any fitness cards, any healing cards as well. And if you've got squad fitness cards, even better. You can make about 1,000 coins on each of them, and they'll drop down a bit when Team of the Season comes out, just because so many packs will be opened. So right now, it is definitely the best time to sell those cards. Now, if you've got any non-rare cards and just really low-rated gold cards, you can also sell them, or you can put them into squad builder challenges. It's up to you, really. But you just want to get rid of those cards, because even ones that go for about eight or 900 coins now, they'll be going for 700 coins during Team of the Season. So if you want to get a little bit of extra coins, Make sure you sell those cards as well. And you guys can see I've sold pretty much all the cards in my club. I've got around 860k right now. I've got a lot of one to watch cards that I still need to sell on. But other than that, I don't have too much when it comes to value. All you need is one team that you use. You don't really want anything else. Just have the one team that you use. Maybe if you play foot champions, it's going to be a good team. If you don't really play foot champions, you can sell everything and maybe use like a 25k or 50k team if you want. And just have a very cheap team and everything else you've just got in coins. It's up to you really, depending if you do play foot champions, you will probably want a good team if you do play foot champions. Because you all want to be competing in the weekend league. But I would recommend selling everything other than the main team that you are going to be using. Maybe keep a few fitness cards, a few healing cards, and plenty of contracts so you don't have to go and buy those things. But other than that, you do want to com completely liquidate your club, sell pretty much everything that you've got. If you do have any big players, if you've got people like Pogba, Ronaldo, Messi, those cards are very cheap right now in comparison to what they've been in the past, but they will be dropping down even more in the future. And it is ridiculous how much these cards have dropped. For example, striker 88 rated Alexi Sanchez is 55k right now. He was 95k about two days ago. Messi is about 450k. He was about 550k a few days ago. But with Team of the Season, these cards are going to be dropping down even more in value. A lot of them will actually be getting Team of the Season cards as well, so they'll no longer have the best version of their card on the game. If you guys, for example, have maybe an inform version of a player and they get a Team of the Season card, that inform is going to drop down a lot in value. So again, that's why you do want to sell those cards. And if you've got players, for example, that have maybe an upgraded gold card that goes for a good amount of coins, if that card then gets a Team of the Season, if they don't have any informs, for example, then that card's going to drop down a lot in value as it's no longer going to be the best version of that card. So if you do have any of those bigger high-rated cards, you will probably need to sell them now, even though you will be taking a quite a big loss on them then it's just better to get rid of the cards now because they will drop down even more in the future. And no one really predicted that these Team of the Knockout Sage cards and SBCs would come out, so I think a lot of people still have those big high-rated players in their club, and a lot of people are going to be making losses on them, me included. I'm going to be making a big loss on a lot of players I do sell on. Luckily, I don't have too many rare gold players in my club that are that expensive. Mainly, I have just informers and things that haven't dropped down as much in value. But even then, people are like in for Alonso, who was 85k last week. He's now about 65k. Those cards are dropping. 
but they will drop down even more during team of the season, so it's best if you just get rid of the cards now, get rid of the 80s, the 81s, the 82s, the 83s, 84s, and 85s, check your club for non-rares and silvers, get rid of consumables, and just liquidate your club ready for team of the season, so you've got plenty of coins to go and get team of the season cards, to go and do trading during team of the season, and just play FIFA, get some new cards, build some new teams, and uh, it should be great. Team of the season, can't wait for it. So many new cards are going to be coming out. Loads of SBCs, loads of new content. But if you guys did enjoy the video, hopefully this video is going to help you out. If you do have any kind of questions about which players you should sell, anything like that, then leave a comment down below in the comment section, and I'll try my best to get back to you, and hopefully other people will also help you out. But if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.